Welcome to Mastering Solutions. This problem is a continuation of the last problem where we figured out how long it took for the bill to drop past the girl's hands when she tries to catch it. So in this question, they want us to figure out how long that bill would need to be for her to actually catch it. So this is the kinematic equation that we're gonna be using. It's the exact same one we used in the last problem. Y final is equal to Y initial plus the initial velocity times time plus one half acceleration times the time squared. Now this is the whole kinematic equation. We don't need all of it. We're going to go through it in just a second, but I always recommend to write the whole equation out. It cements it in your brain, makes you really comfortable with it for the test, and it's really good practice just so that you're greater when they see, oh man, they knew the whole equation. It just puts you in a really good position to get as many points as possible. So in this, we said, just like in the last problem, the y initial is going to be zero. We're setting that as the starting spot, and so the bill will be dropping in the negative y direction. So the initial velocity is also zero. So just like in the last problem, what we end up with is y final is equal to one half times the acceleration times the time squared. Now there we discussed that acceleration is gravity. It's in free fall. So you can write this one of two ways. You can write it as one half times negative g times t squared or you can write it also as negative one half times gravity times t squared. It's the exact same thing. A lot of times when we write the kinematic equations, they'll put this as a negative one half gt squared just for the sake of making the equation simpler. But both of these are the same, so whichever one works for you. So now we can just plug in our numbers. So we have y final is equal to one half times the gravity, which we said is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. And she wants to catch it, so we need to give her 0.25 seconds. So it'll be just enough time to catch the very edge of the bill. So now we go to the calculator and we have 0.5 times a negative 9.8 times the reaction time, which we said is 0.25 seconds, and that needs to be squared. So now the bill needs to be 0.31, so that is 0.31 meters, or in other words, 31 centimeters long for her to have a chance to catch it if we drop it in, in between her fingers. 